What's going on guys, it's Danny here and this is going to be a 2850 average MMR game commentary. This time I want to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be focusing on looking at the Dire team. I'm going to be watching, spectating and commentating only for the Dire team. Um, not the whole game in general and looking at everyone and get confused and start talking about something and then notice something different and start talking about something else without finishing the first thing this time I wanna focus on the Dire team and I hope I hope you like this feel free to say what you think in the comments of the video if there is anything basically anything that you that you think about this so I want to focus more on the Dire team and let's get started when I'm looking at the Dire team right now I see a pretty good mid game and a team that shoots snowball if you look at the heroes Slark, Huskar as carry heroes the others are gankers slash support slash space creators clockwork offlane hero Bounty Hunter, Roaming Hero, Huskar, Slark, Tree and Protector. Um, except Slark, no one else has very good ways of pushing very fast. So the ganking should be very good for the Dire team. Uh, not so much the pushing and split pushing. Slark can do it. He can kill creeps wa creep waves pretty fast with Dark Pact. Um, Huskar is a single target hero, Clockwork. He can use rockets, I guess, but it's not that impressive damage. Bounty Hunter does not kill creeps in general. He walks after heroes and tracks them, and he's just annoying. And Tree and Protector is just a support hero. Um, so, let me tell you the lanes they should do, I think, that I think they should do. And then let's compare to what they actually do. And in general, I'm going to be looking at the Dire team. Um, at the mistakes they are doing and what they should have done better and stuff like that um, so this in my opinion is a Husker middle because Husker is good against TA with your burning spears you can burn the refraction charges and that's what you want against TA to get rid of the refraction charges that works pretty well against TA um, clockwork very good offlane hero, he's always been a good offlane hero you go to the offlane you should always be able to secure yourself experience at least with the help of the cogs you can cog the creeps and then make the enemy lane push into your tower and always be safe under the tower and still get experience get your level 6 as fast as possible and then you are a ganking machine on level 1 every 70 seconds there is a hook shot um, it doesn't feel like it's 70 seconds when I played clockwork because when you gank once you will be out of mana and then you have to go back to base and then until you go back to the lane your hook shot will be ready so it actually feels like it's around 40 seconds but it's 70 seconds on level 1 still Clockwork, offlane hero, ganking machine, bounty hunter, roaming in this game. Um, and what is left is tree and protector support and the slark carry on the safe lane, of course. Now let's see what they actually do. Mm, this is a 2850 game um, average. I think everyone can agree with me that the lane should be as I said by the way what I did is here in the options I turned the fog for the dire team instead of both teams you cannot see it because my face is there but I turned the fog only for the dire team I don't see anything on the minimap for the radiant team um, it's like I am one of the dire players right now I'm gonna be commentating and focusing only on the dire so yeah just turning the fog for the dire um, bottom lane now contesting the rune Co contesting the bounty rune on level 1 is very important to realize um, can you fight the enemy or not do you want to fight the enemy in this game seconds, they probably shouldn't radiant looks like mm, it's kinda same 
both teams could be strong on level 1. Clockwork is a hero that can secure a rune pretty easily. Um, with the help of the cogs, I think Clockwork should be bottom, not top. He is gonna be going to the top, to the off lane anyway. And if you contest bottom rune, you can use the cogs. There is a stun on Husker. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh, which doctor is the hero they should go on because he's the squishier one. Just ignore the legion commander and that's exactly what they do. They get the first blood on witch doctor, that's very good. Now tango up, also magic stick. Huskar is gonna be fine here. Uh, maybe overwhelming odds? No, it's not gonna happen. He is not... Oh, he did it actually. He did it in a good way. Under the creep wave, because you get more damage the more units you hit with your overwhelming odds. But still not enough to heal, to kill our Husker. Uh, so this is actually different than what I said. This is Bounty Hunter and Husker. Um, off lane. Middle lane Clockwork, which is... I don't think it should be very good against... TA. I haven't played Clockwork in a long time and especially on the mid lane. I never played mid lane clo Clockwork. Um, clockwork is an off lane hero. Um, one thing for Bounty Hunter. If I'm, at the, if I'm the Bounty Hunter in this game, the first and most important thing I should be looking at is if the enemy has detection. Look at the support. Look at Witch Doctor. Does he have dust? Does he have sentries? If the answer is yes, then, well, I should go and be annoying on the mid lane. Um, if I don't have my own sentries to deward the enemy sentries, that means they will be seeing me on the lane all the time. And I won't be able to do so much. Um, that's why you carry sentries on your bounty hunter. So you can deward the enemy sentries. But in this game, notice that there are no sentries, actually. Um... So, Husker is getting initiated, he is dead, Legion Commander killed him, meanwhile, Bounty kills Witch Doctor, it's a one for one trade, not very worth it for us, for the Dire team, carry for a support trade is not very worth it, but it's still better than nothing, and this is exactly what Bounty Hunter can do, you can wait for your Jinada, and you can get a crit plus the shadow walk auto attack damage. You have bonus damage. It's just like shadow blade. When you break the invisibility, you have bonus damage. Um, it's less than a shadow blade, but still. Now, which doctor is back to the lane and still doesn't have any detection? Legion commander actually killed bounty. I mean, sorry, bounty killed legion, and he has no mana for invis. Tide Hunter is pretty slow, he can't kill him. So first of all, Tide Hunter came from the top lane, he rotated bottom. And now this is now we are playing a 2v3 lane. Husker and Oh, Husker has to be careful here. You cannot be very aggressive when when your bounty hunter is going back to base. Husker, notice that Husker has no escape ability. He there was a courier that was killed, by the way. Where was the courier killed? So... Oh, wow. This, these are uh, tight hunter sentries. You should be very careful when using the courier like this. The land courier is pretty slow. It's not very fast. And as soon as the hero has boots, you are already faster than the land courier. You can't really use it like that when in front of the enemy. Uh, this was uh, Bounty Hunter Sentry... I mean, t sorry, Tide Hunter Sentry Wards. And Clockwork bottom lane with haste now, getting a kill on Witch Doctor. I like that he is ganking. This is very important. Very, very important. Uh, Clockwork is a ganker. Very important to not AFK on the middle lane when you play Clockwork. First of all, you should be playing Clockwork on the off lane, but still. It's very important to not AFK on your lane with Clockwork. He's a ganker, he's a kind of space creator, I guess. I don't in fights. He's a space creator in fights. 
not so good space creator in the sense of pushing you can do nature's prophet for that trust me nature's prophet is so good at creating space split push with treants and make people forced to defend towers and that space creation for you I know it I know I know um, nature's prophet is good space creator cuz you know I play nature's prophet um, now Legion commander in trouble again not gonna die here never mind he has no region this is something else that uh, is very important to look at um, how much region the enemy has left mm. and do they have any region because Legion doesn't have any which doctor should be sharing one tango with him okay he just did that and still not much region left now Husker can actually he did die Legion will die and bounty hunter what is he doing in the trees here when did he get there oh my god which doctor you're not paying attention man he didn't have mana for a stun anyway even if he paid attention maybe should have used the clarity immediately as soon as he was out of mana um, I forgot to look at the top lane by the way and the middle lane the top lane is going pretty well for us I believe it's uh, Luna off lane which is not good at all hookshot didn't hit Luna but I think she's still dead yes she has no boots clockwork does have boots so that's it a lot of ganks on the clockwork this is exactly the purpose of the clockwork of the hero okay a lot of ganks doesn't matter if you off lane or mid lane ganking all the time is very good um, whoa legion commander manning up actually manning up a lot he had pretty low HP on only level 1 heal it's only 30 HP region wait 30 per second it's 30 per second I believe yeah he's manning up again oh my god that moment of courage if the moment of courage didn't proc there he wouldn't have killed bounty there is something I want to say tree and protector um, sorry no Slark Midas 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 that's uh, it's usually not very hard to decide if you should go Midas or not in this game I think Midas is very good they are playing against a Luna mm, the lane is not hard at all Slark is owning he's having a very good early game and that's what you should be looking at um, is the enemy pressuring me a lot if they are then that could be like a s comeback Midas you can have a comeback Midas you can also have a Midas that will speed up your farming even more and make you win even harder when you are winning um, he tried to duel him he has no dust they should have dust or sentries this should be bad for bounty I don't know why did he do that um, he wanted to kill the witch doctor that's for sure but think about it okay let me see if legion is gonna get the kill here probably not juke around the tower he even turns to auto attack that's that's what he should have done so think about it even if he killed the witch doctor and it's a truck kill too you get you are giving a kill to legion and not only a kill it's a dual damage as well on top of that he didn't even kill witch doctor it was very close he escaped with like five HPs it was really really close um, totally not worth it for bounty hunter he had the shadow walk on cooldown he couldn't escape totally not worth it now legion commander is alone here and I don't know why didn't he back all the way to the tower he was like sitting there waiting for clockwork um, 
I don't know. So, uh, Midas. Midas, Midas this game for Slark. Two types of Midas. One that increases your advantage even more, and another one that's comeback Midas. In this game, it's definitely not a comeback Midas, because they are not losing. Now Slark might die here. Witch Doctor will get a kill. Actually, it's TA getting a kill on Trian. Leap into the trees. It's not even needed, actually. As soon as you are hiding away from the vision, uh, you will be getting the HP region from your ultimate. Meanwhile, Clockwork died to a duel. Blink. Leap into the trees. That's not good. What he should have done is pounce. I said leap. Leap is Mirana. Slark is pounce. Pounce into the trees and then you can pounce again out of the trees. No one has a blink from the Radiant team. No one has any way of reaching you. Maybe they can get vision with a trap and then and then Luna loosened beam and that's a kill on the treant. I don't know why did he go there. It made no sense. Bounty Hunter is there now. You can't just go... You can't just run into four people. Like, this is... This is... Um, this is a 2850... Approximately... Average MMR game. This is like... Players that are new to the game. Everyone looks like they are completely new to the game. Clockwork knows that he has to gank all the time. That's extremely good. He might... He's not gonna die to the Witch Doctor. There's no way. Most of the mistakes... Most of the mistakes in this game... Oh my, is he dead? No, he's not dead. Um, most of... Like... Not most, but... The mistake that I see a lot is... Is... Um, one guy running into four, like before Triant run into four people. I don't know why would you do that. Even if you are new to the game, isn't it obvious that one cannot survive against four? I think that's obvious. That's like very, very, very basic and very, very bad mistake. That even if you play Dota for the first time. I think that should be obvious that one hero should not run into four. He one hero cannot kill four. There is no way. Right now Slark has ultimate up. He can use it to escape. That's really good. Clockwork is waiting here. The hook shot for counter initiation. Very well done. Ravage is on cooldown. No ravage. Um they actually killed the clockwork. Now there is a blade mail. Should be very careful here. Bounty hunter, don't do the mistake to run into four people alone. You cannot kill anybody. Everyone is tipping middle for some reason. And Slark should be careful because he has no ultimate. Of course he has pounce and dark pact, but no ultimate. Should be careful. Uh, this tree and protector. I'm gonna be looking at the items as well. In just a second, let me see if there is going to be any action. Bounty Hunter is going Dagon, by the way. Um, the best build on Bounty Hunter is Mechanism, I would say. Mechanism into Guardian Greaves with, with Arcane Boots first. Slark has ultimate up now. Focus the Witch Doctor. Slark focusing... Okay, that's a good fight. It's a 2 for 3 trade. Kuskar and Trian Protector. Luna with the ultimate. That might be able to clean the house. Clock with the blade mail. Very good. Very well done. Did, Lina, did Luna buy back? No, Luna didn't buy back. So, what happened here? Big win for the Radiant. They traded 5 heroes for 3, but remember that they have tracks. There are 3 tracks used by the Bounty Hunter in that fight. So 3 of the kills were track kills. 
Maybe everyone was trucked, but the it only shows three trucks. Uh, playing against a bounty hunter is, in general, you know, kind of annoying, and at the same time, you know, you need to make very good decisions. If you go for fights that you know you're, you cannot trade against a bounty hunter because. Okay, he manages to duel the clock and he actually gives him a duel win. He has Ravage, you cannot kill three heroes alone, remember what I said before. Clockwork decided to hook in and that was a bad decision because he died. Um, ultimates like Ravage and Global Silence should not be wasted like this. Remember what I said before? One hero cannot kill three. It's very obvious. Tidehunter cannot run into three people. You can't just do that. It's not possible. If you are new to the game and you can't tell if you can kill the enemy, e you know, if you can't realize by the, the items and how strong heroes are, just look at how many heroes there are, you know. As soon as you see two heroes and you are alone, you run away from them, okay? That's one way of thinking about it. Sometimes if you are alone, you can kill two heroes. Sometimes that's possible if you are very farmed. And if they are like two supports, for example, and you are one Slark with a Shadow Blade, you can kill them both sometimes. But in general, if you cannot... Why is... Why is there a rocket sound? I don't know, it's over. Um, okay, there is... A there is a rocket sound there. I don't know, clockwork rocket sound. By the way, Slark should have a shadow blade. This is good now. Uh, Slark is that kind of hero. He has ultimate. He's gonna get dueled now with blade mail and he's gonna lose the duel. So that's was that was not good actually. Could Bounty Hunter kill earlier? I think Tide Hunter, I mean Bounty Hunter could have killed Legion earlier. The Dagon has insane range. Yeah, he should have Dagon now. If he would have died. This is something that I probably wouldn't have done either if I was the bounty hunter. This is this this would be pretty hard to realize or to think about if you are playing the game. Sometimes when you are the one watching the game, it's so much easier to realize stuff. What bounty hunter could have done is Dagon Legion when the duel was on. Bounty hunter would have killed himself from the blade mail, but he would have won the duel for the slark. And the Legion kill would have been a truck kill. So it's like Bounty Hunter could have sacrificed himself here. But Slark gets a lot of gold because it's a Legion commander kill plus truck kill. And at the same time it's a dual win so bonus damage for the Slark. That would have been a sacrifice move. Sacrifice, sacrificial move for... Hunter. Uh, Witch Doctor at this point can't do very much. This is the problem. Um, I mean, this is not a problem for us, for the Dire team. This is very good for us. This is the problem for the enemy. And when you when you play against a when you play against a Slark, if you let them have free farm in the beginning, later on it will be hard to stop them because look at him. He's owning so hard. Very early Shadow Blade and Midas. Luna ult is gonna get a double kill here. It's actually the Legion getting a double kill. No one got dueled. They didn't lose duel. Um, looking at the wards by the way. They have four wards on the map. So that's pretty good job by the supports. And one of them is gonna get dewarded. I was about to say that. Usually having two wards on the map is normal, that's fine. Having three wards is really good, 
Having four wards on the map is actually meaning that the enemy is not dewarding anything and they don't give a shit. And they shoot. Okay, Bounty Hunter looks like he's gonna die there. Legion Commander with the Blade Mail winning duels again. Slark is gonna get this heal and then probably should get out of there. This is something important. This is something... This is why I'm a bad Slark player. Because... I mean, no, that's not the reason. I know when to get in and when to get out with Slark. I know how to do that with every single hero, basically. The reason why I'm bad at Slark is because I... Since the hero is very good at ganking and he's a ganker, um, when I get a Shadow Blade, I think that I'm invincible and I just run at people and then I die a few times. And then I get behind in farm and levels and then the enemy just wins the game. I can farm a fast Shadow Blade on Slark. As soon as you know how to last hit creeps and you have a good support in your lane, you can farm a fast Shadow Blade. But then for some reason I start thinking that I'm invincible. I mean, Slark is just like every other hero in this game. If you wanna be good at it, practice it. A little bit of practice, you can, give, you can be good at any hero. I'm not good at Slark, but what about my Nature's Prophet though? Okay, someone is stuck in here. Um, the creep takes a little bit longer to kill because it has more HP when he, it's dominated by Helm of the Dominator. And... Radiant's top tower is under attack. Now what the Radiant team should be doing is 5 manning a lot. Because they... They have to stop the early ganks. And what we should be doing, the Dire team, is exactly what we're doing right now. Going for the early fights with the truck this is going to be 3 4 0 4 and tide hunter died as well so that's 5 4 0 and probably every every kill was a truck i don't know even more advantage for us 7.5k gold advantage for the dire team right now i forgot to look at Chad, at the item builds by the way that's very important to look at <coughs> Um, Husker, the typical Husker build, the most OP Husker build at the moment is going for... Okay, I'm gonna say it item by item, one by one. Boots into armlet, and then Helm of the Dominator for lifesteal. You can finish the power treads if you want to. Some people don't even finish power treads, but it's good if you do. Um, and then get evasion. Solar Crest, and after Solar Crest, get Heaven's Halberd. Sometimes could be the Heaven's Halberd first, if the, it depends if you need it to disarm someone that can kill you very easily with uh, very heavy physical damage, something like that. By the way, Huskar can do Roche alone very early on. I totally forgot to say that. As soon as you have boots and armlet, you can solo Roche. If you stand here at the end of the Roche pit um, and auto attack him, when Roche stands here and auto attacks you a few times, he will start going back. And when Roche is going back, he is not hitting you and you have no... Um, you can't be afraid of dying because Roche is going back to, to this place. And this is when you armlet toggle. Just armlet and boots is enough to kill um, to kill Roshan with Husker. Anyway, this guy didn't solo kill Rosh. Um TA is another hero that can solo kill Rosh very easily with Desolator. Slark is just owning everybody. He is getting BKB, but he's not invincible with the BKB. And that's two very big kills going to TA. This is definitely not good for us. I mean... Yeah... Legion Commander... Legion Commander, Luna and Witch Doctor for... Slark, Clock and Bounty Hunter. This was an even trade, 3 for 3. But I'm sure the Radiant got so much more out of it. So... I already said... 
Huskar build. Uh, this one is not the build for sure. You don't need Shadow Blade. You don't need Silver Edge. There is no reason in this game, at least. Mm, disabling Luna's passives won't do much. That's what Silver Edge does, right? It disables passives for a few seconds. Disabling Legion's passive won't do much for you. Witch Doctor has no passives. Disabling Tidehunter's passives won't do much for you. Um, Silver Edge is good against uh, PA, for example. That 50% evasion. You disable it for a few seconds. And then you live break the PA. And then she is just dead. PA is a good hero that you can build uh, Silver Edge against. Now Clockwork here with a haste rune. Clock, I mean Cog. And he's gonna be able to run out. To run away. Shadow Blade is ganking again. This is a... Uh, not Shadow Blade, Slark. Slark is ganking again with Shadow Blade. This is exactly what they should be doing. Ganking literally all the time. Oh, he used the BKB there. That wasn't needed. Also, remember what the cooldown of the BKB is? Mm, it has at least a minute cooldown. And for example, sometimes someone that has BKB, if it's on cooldown, you can go kill him. That's important to realize as well. And they are going for the base. So, 29 to 45. So far, so good. This is exactly what they should be doing. Constantly fighting with track. Trying to get track gold. This is exactly what I said in the beginning. Um, we don't have very good late game. And this is what should never be happening. This is what should not be happening right now. Um... Diving the base should not be happening here. Diving the base against Tidehunter's Ravage is pretty dangerous. Right now it's okay. It's not very bad. Because they are getting some kills. Legion got the kill on Huskar. This Legion is getting fat. Even if they are losing hard. Legion is getting a lot of dual wins. Legion has 100 damage from duels 26 minutes into the game. That's much more than we would like him to have. For us, for the Dire team, that's a lot of dual wins. Tidehunter is going first item refresher, as you can see, and he already has it. No Blink Dagger, I'm surprised. Uh, Blink Dagger is a must. Oh! Hooking the creeps. <laughs> Bounty Hunter. <laughs> what you doing, man? That was... At least that was a kill for Clock. Um, Tide Hunter? Tide Hunter is in the enemy, but still, I wanna mention real quick. Blink Dagger is extremely important for Tide Hunter. So you can have a good position for a Ravage. Um... Now, something else that we can look at. Do you have enough mana to RP twice? I mean, not RP. I say RP because usually... Is he gonna go for this? No, he shouldn't. He doesn't have much HP and mana. If he hook shots, he's gonna run out of mana. Um, does he have enough mana to use it? Because it's one ultimate, 200 mana. If you use arcane boots between the RPs and after refreshing, it's really good. Um, uh oh, duel. It's gonna be another duel win for Legion. This is definitely not good. He almost died. Slark, you should definitely get out of here now. This is greed. That's greed, right there. Silver Edge was ready. 
and he stayed to try to kill Tithunder. He couldn't kill him, and then he died, and he gave Luna 800 gold. That's level. That's very greedy. Um. Kuskar is dead actually to the Burning Spears. I mean, sorry, Luna is dead for the Burning Spears. Tide Hunter is also dead. Damn, Kuskar, what are you doing, man? He's owning them. A little bit of uh, like solo play, but by Kuskar, but he's owning them, yo. It took him like 10 seconds to write the smiley face. Radiant's bottom tower is under oh attack. Oh god. Radiant structures are fortified. Woo, that was close. Shadow Blade BKB. Okay, so let's look at the items again. Tree and Protector is going Aghanims. Um, that's like the best item for the hero. Getting that vision in the enemy's jungle and stuff. He duels, he lost the duel, so Legion got, I mean sorry, Husker got duel win, 18 damage. Well played, this is unbelievable. Well, you got, you got ganged by three heroes, it's not unbelievable, it's, it's okay. Radiant team is losing right now, really hard. It's really, it's totally fine to get ganked by three heroes they have no I think they have no wards there are no sentries okay arcane boots refresh he did it he did it that's what he should do he has enough mana if he uses the arcane boots in between the ravages he couldn't use the second Ravage because he died, but this is what you do if you get first item Refresher. It's Ravage, Arcane Boots, Refresher, Arcane Boots, and then Ravage again. You would have mana. And you would have mana left for other stuff as well. That's for sure. So now Tree and Protector is starting to get um, some vision. What is this called? Seed something? No, Leech Seed is the Leech Seed is the second spell. This is Ice in the Forest. Now they are getting vision. What you do against Tree and Protector with Aghanims is you get a gem. And you get a Quilling Blade or Tangos, something that can remove trees. Or if you have heroes with spells that can remove trees, for example, Lina Stun removes trees. It's pretty low cooldown too. And you can use that, for example. In the Radiant team, there is nothing that can break trees. And remember that there is a Refresher. And we should use it right now. Nice Ravage this time. Very nice one. The Jin is full HP still. He can heal himself to remove the track. Whoa! Slark. The Slark is not as strong as he thinks, actually. This is this is that situation that I talked about earlier. Slark against TA and Legion. So, you should be like, am I alone? Yes, I'm alone. My teammates are dead. I'm a lone Slark. How many enemies are there? Two. TA and Legion. I'm running away. I am just running away. If he was alive... Well, he gave them 470 gold, which is a lot actually. No, sorry. TA, uh, TA got 750 for killing the Slark, which is very bad for us, for the Dire team. Right now the plan should be to not throw. Like, 
in Dota is just especially in the lower MMR it's it's kind of hard to not throw I don't know is it because people are not patient is it because they don't understand that they are actually throwing do they understand that they are throwing someone has to push lanes by the way um, bounty hunter is pretty slow at pushing lanes Satanic on the Husker. Satanic is part of the build. It's a good item. But definitely not Silver Edge. Uh oh. He didn't get dueled. Hooked on the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor is dead for sure. And there is a Legion invisible here. Now, Legion should not go. Definitely. And he didn't go. They see him on the ward now. Do they kill him here? There is a hook shot, nice. And BKB, BKB, nice. And then he duels. That should be a dual win for Legion. Is it gonna be though? No, it wasn't. No one won the duel. And then he died. The Treant ultimate. This is a buyback on Legion Commander. This is when everyone runs. Everyone should run because Legion bought back. Clockwork. First of all, Slark is pushing the top lane. Slark is not even there. So that's a team mistake. It's always a team mistake. You know? I'm gonna tell you in just a second. Let's see what happens here first. And I don't know why is he running. Can I ping as a spectator? I can. I'm gonna ping this guy. Your team is fighting. Top Your team is dying on the mid lane. Radiant structures are they don't see the pings. This is a replay, by the way. This is uh, nothing important. And now he's going alone on the Witch Doctor. And he's probably gonna die now. Oh my god. That's... That's so bad. That's really, really bad. First of all, Slark was top lane and his team was fighting middle and when I see that, I don't know about others, but when I see that, I don't blame the Slark, I blame the team in general. This is a team mistake, Dota is a team game, you don't blame something on one person or only two people or whatever. It was a mistake by the Slark to split push instead of team fighting with the team. But at the same time it was a mistake by the team to initiate without the Slark. It's the whole team in general, you know. Uh, there is a microphone option, there is a voice chat option in Dota 2. Dire team, just tell the Slark to come with you. And he's gonna duel the clockwork now. This Legion commander... I feel like he's gonna win Dire the game because Radiant, I mean, sorry, Legion is gonna win Radiant the game and Dire is the one that should get their shit together. Because remember how hard they were owning earlier? They had 15,000 gold advantage. Now there is no gold advantage. And this Lark is playing very greedy this game. Very greedy. Um, he has a Shadow Blade, he should be looking at if there are sentries. There are, but Trian has a gem. Very nice. Dewarding the sentries. Okay, going on the Legion Commander. Blade Mail, and then right click him. The Satanic didn't do anything. Slark. As soon as his ultimate expires, he's gonna die. I can see it. The Radiant team, I don't know if you guys see it. The Radiant team is stronger. I don't this is this is very important to realize when watching the game. And this will help a lot when you are playing later. By the way, now when there are four heroes dead, they should be pushing, not rushing. 
and I'm glad that they are actually pushing. Now Clockwork is gonna try to solo kill um, Shadow Blade, Legion Commander, Lina finished Roche with TA. Maybe they could have Roached, but they should have done it as a team. Not two people middle and two people Roaching. Because Clockwork almost killed Legion. Now Legion has to go back to base to heal up. Oh, he's not going back to base. He's back in the fight. And he's gonna... He's gonna win another duel. One 192 damage from duels. Man, this guy's insane. So, I don't know if you guys see it or not. But Radiant team is getting stronger. Radiant's courier. With these items, Huskar is not so strong. If you if you think about it, he actually has only one real item for the late game. Silver Edge, who cares? It gives you a little bit of damage, a little bit of attack speed and, and HP. Satanic is a big item. Huskar should be a lot more farmed at this point if he wants to go to the late game. Um... Dire team, oh, Ravage, this is not gonna do anything because he's alone. Again, those Ravages, Tidehunter Ravages should be saved for the team fight, not for, not for 1v2 situations because you cannot kill anybody when you are Tidehunter. And now the counter throw, Luna with the Aegis is gonna be surrounded by 4 people now, no BKB because he used it before. And he is dead. Now, maybe finally there should be some barracks. Please tell me you're getting some barracks now. Solar Crest on Bounty Hunter. Um, Slark. Slark is not so farmed either. Slark with a Midas and such a good early game. Um, at this point should have a lot more farm than this. Right now, when Legion Commander is dead with, with no buyback, um, the Radiant team should be very, very careful. They should not be doing what they are doing. Mm. This, is, this is what Radiant should have done here. Just give the Dire... Uh, set of rocks. Maybe... I don't know, this is just really bad. Like, the way they got picked off on the mid lane, Legion Commander not going back to base to heal up, is... It, that was so bad, like... And now the tower, the base dive. This is something that should not be happening, to be honest. They should focus into killing the barracks, destroying the buildings. Because this is not good. Legion Commander is back in, is back in two seconds, and this is when everybody runs. Clockwork is dead. He has no buyback, I think. Yep. You can tell if he has buyback or not by the respawning time. If the respawning time is very long, like two minutes, that means he bought back. Because when you buy back, one part of your Respawning time will be added to the Dyer's next respawning time. Something like that. I don't know if I explained it right, but that's how it works. Alright, so... We got a Silver Edge on Slark. Basically, the Huskar can't do anything at this point. Uh, Radiant team has... Desolator, Daedalus on TA. This is a lot of physical damage and that's what works very well against Kuskar. He has only 6 armor at level 21. Um, nice Ravage there. Nice Ravage. Definitely very good Ravage. Wait, don't tell me game is over now. I like how they are focusing on the buildings. Look at the Legion. He has 201 damage from duels. That's a total of around 500 damage or something. And you should definitely focus on the buildings. Nice bash that he got right there. The entire... Dire team is dead. They actually lost. I can't believe that they lost. 
I actually didn't think. What? This is definitely the Legion Commander carrying very well, I gotta say. He did very well this game. I forgot to switch to the net worth. I was showing the last hits the entire game. Oh god. Okay. Nobody had 200 last hits or more. 60 to 72. 44 minutes in. That's a lot of kills for a 44 minutes game. Anyway, so I hope this video was good for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, basically. Hope it was entertaining for you if you were looking for entertainment. Hope you could learn something new, maybe, if you were looking to learn something new. Um, hope you enjoyed the video in general. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one. Good luck, and have fun playing Dota.